It's February 16th. I started winter with 154 colonies. I currently have 150. I've had one dead out during the winter. One colony I, I missed that they didn't have any honey and they starved. So, And then three other colonies didn't have a queen that I inspected them in my bee room there. So I'm down four colonies, currently have 150. And I gotta say, these are the strongest colonies I've ever had. I'm within range of becoming a commercial beekeeper this year. Probably 10% of my colonies are in jeopardy of being too small. I took all the colonies in my basement back up to my bee room. And let me tell you, it wasn't a lot of fun. I really don't want to do it again. And I decided to stack these here on top of these other hives because I didn't really want to put any more posts out on, on blocks and set them there because I'm going to be moving these out soon. Sometime next month, the larger colony is going to go to another apiary so they can take advantage of uh, tree pollen. There's too many, I got too many bees here and I want to spread them out. So while the, most of the commercial bees are in uh, California doing the almonds right now, my bees are here in Michigan waiting for the warmer weather for the trees to uh, bud and get pollen and hopefully some nectar. Because i got to keep track of them, make sure they don't starve. Here's a small colony that I've got to watch. We've got one warm day. And then tomorrow it's going to start getting cold and Friday it's going to be really cold. So all these colonies you see on the deck and over there and then those that are on top are going to go into the bee room. And then all those colonies out there that were inside most of the winter, I'm assessing them and most of them, except for one so far, is going to be left outside. And what I've been doing today, after I, I just finished moving these out before lunch, these have been out here for over a day, but those over there, the other side, the ones out in the basement, I just moved them out this morning. And I'm taking away some honey from, from the colonies that have too much, I'm making sure they have at least five or six, depending on the size of the colony. But here's the one that I don't trust being outside when it gets really cold the single digits this is the smallest one that's over here it, it goes down all the way down to there but the rest of these are huge and it's windy out and i can't use smoke because it would just blow away because i haven't really worked with these bees for several months they're very aggressive right now here's a colony Show you how strong this is. And they're very aggressive. I'm going to have over a hundred colonies, I'm sure, that are going to be making honey this year. And maybe 40, 50 colonies are going to be. Uh, making queens. Yeah, this one is not as big as that one. I'm down there. Just because they're not taking a pollen substitute doesn't mean the queen's not laying. Sometimes they have natural pollen in the hive and they'll use that up first before they uh before they need that substitute. Let's look at another one. So I still think this one can handle single digits. Not this one. Oh yeah. So these are the smallest out here. And then that one over there. So overall, I gotta make sure they're fed and I'm gonna probably have to add a deep here sometime in March. And these will probably go to another apiary. See, so here's some honey that I took out of a smaller colony. It didn't have as many bees, so they're not going to need all that honey. And I'm giving it to the larger colonies that will need it. 
okay? Thank you.